The Chargers, players and coaches have their sights set on winning the AFC West and they're hoping for a deep run in the playoffs. But the larger Chargers organization is looking much further down into the future and, and is now has its sights on a new downtown stadium near Petco Park. What brought them back to San Diego and that location? And should public money be used to help fund a new stadium for the team? Uh, why, why has the Chargers focus now turned to the city of San Diego and this site where the old Wonder Bread building used to sit? I think, I think the city of San Diego and a lot of the residents and the Chargers, I think, naturally would think of San, the city of San Diego as the first choice. If they can come up with a way to stay in the city, that would be the first choice, um, much, much more preferable than Chula Vista or Escondido or Oceanside. I, I, I think naturally they would just want to be in the city of San Diego, so that makes sense to me. Uh, but you haven't answered why. Um, you want to answer why? Sure, it's a more central location. Uh, the infrastructure is already in for parking, for public transportation. Um, so I think those are, those are two big reasons, the, loca the central location, the parking, the public transportation access. How, what about the, uh, the enthusiasm of the mayor and his staff and other public officials for this particular site? Well, yes, Mayor Sanders is excited. I mean, so are mayors of other communities excited, but... Um, you know, I think the city, the, the central location in downtown is, is a major plus for the Chargers. Where does this excitement come from? I mean, it wasn't too long ago that the, the mayor said this is neither the time nor does the city have the money to even pursue this as an option. Why are they excited now? Or are we in better shape financially? No, we most certainly are not. We are in worse shape. Uh, the only thing that I can really think, uh, you know, to answer your question, is that he took, Mayor Sanders took some heat uh, back when he would simply would not take a stand either way on the Chargers. He wouldn't meet with them. He wouldn't talk to them. He didn't want to say either way whether, you know, he just kind of stayed out of it. And he took some heat in the press for that, for not showing some leadership on it. So I suppose that he is trying to show some leadership. And I think probably with the downtown site, you're talking about public money, but you're talking about redevelopment money. So it's a little bit more of a complicated topic rather than if you were saying, we're just going to spend some money out of the city's general fund for this. It, redevelopment money would, would be money that otherwise would either go back to the state for the state to use or it would be money that could only be used downtown for very specific uh, uh, purposes. So I think maybe he's thinking that, that, that the chargers in the city could make a case that this is a good good uh, uh, expenditure of redevelopment But money. it's still public money, well, is it not? I mean, the team says it's going to need, they're really clear, My, Mark Fabiani is very clear, he's the council. He says the team is going to need public money to help pay for this. Well, Gloria, I, I do have a proposal, and I'd love to hear from the viewers. So according to an, uh, an Associated Press story this morning, the Chargers said they would commit $200 million of the estimated $800 million cost of building a stadium downtown. So my proposal is create something called Downtown Stadium Corporation and let football fans from all over the country own a piece of the stadium. Not own a piece of the Chargers, but own a piece of the stadium. And in exchange, get discounts on any event that is held at the stadium and get a little button saying, you know, I own part of the stadium. And a bumper sticker for their car, I own part of the stadium. And people sh would, should never expect to make a return on their investment because stadiums do not make money. But it might be a public-spirited way of raising money. Well, it's an inventive thought, but I don't see how, uh, David, react to this thought. I mean, uh, who's going to pay the operating expenses for the stadium? Or what is... What would the Chargers be responsible for if the public could buy into it? Uh, I, I, look, if if people want to if people want to help the Chargers buy a new stadium, uh, it's a private business. If they want to get people to to help them uh, spend money or help them raise money, that's that's fine with me. I would I would cut it off. These are tough times, as you mentioned. I would I would cut it off at any public money. You know, if we're talking about redevelopment money, um, you know, that's money that I I personally would rather have that money go back to the state, which has, has had to cut uh, lots and lots of social services. Just very briefly, David, uh, won't people have to vote if public money is going to go to the charges? 
Uh, I'm not sure. It depends on, I think it depends on how much public money and how much of a benefit a, a, private, a private business would gain from it. I'm actually not sure, but I think that the Chargers have talked about putting it to a vote no matter what, whether, whether they have to or not. Yeah, David's okay. right. The Chargers have said that. If redevelopment money is used, apparently we don't need a vote of the people, but you have to get the approval of two departments at the state of California level and five cities, including the city of San Diego. Uh, we'll keep watching this. Thank you very much, Barbara, David Roland.